what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl cheyenne couture and i'm back with another video and this week i'm gonna get into some hair content and i think it's giving silk press mainly because i need my hair done I look a hot mess and because it's the only thing i really feel like doing plus while it's still cold i want to take advantage of getting the best silk pressy vibes that i can get until it start getting hot and the girl's gotta go get the tracks in the breeze you know you know god know what i'm talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and then blow dry it with my sister's bomb blow dryer and get my flat iron and be going flat iron and I'm gonna watch my movie. Y'all gonna look at me do my hair. Pretty. That's how this is going. Okay, so I've actually had this silk press for about a month now. It's like long overdue. My hair was just getting so dirty to the point where I was just like, I need to do this today, like today, like without a doubt. This is getting done today. And you know what? I don't even have a video for this week. So here y'all go. Content. Period. That's how you do that. And I'm cleaning this sink very thoroughly because I just be like, my hair is going in the sink. So if I'm about to be washing my hair in here, it needs to be spotless. Like I need to feel like this is sterile. I don't play about cleanliness. Then I like to detangle my hair before washing it just so that when I start washing it and I put the product and stuff in my hair to clean it, I don't have to struggle on detangling it while it's in its curly state. And so this is a painting that I made one night with my god sister. It was so cute. I never even got to finish the bunny, but you know. This is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. I like to use co-wash for my hair because I feel like it helps um, prevent like breakage or damage and my hair tends to get um, on a dry side. And so I feel like co-wash, it brings back that moisture, it has the, the oils that really like keep my hair moisturized and soft and it defines my curls. It's just, it's just like bread and butter to me, honestly. And that's the As I Am co-wash. Coconut co-wash. So get it to it, y'all, because it's bomb. And I pretty much just put that in there twice like you would with a shampoo. And um, that's pretty much all I use. Like I said, I just feel like this just works better for my hair. So I was just like, oh, period, ow. So the blow dryer you see me waving around in the air is a Revlon blow dryer. It's so bomb. Watch what this thing can do, y'all. I'm telling you. I have the link down in the description, so make sure you check it out. And the first thing I like to do before blow drying my hair is I like to part my hair in four. 
Um, mainly because I don't like to do smaller parts. I feel like it just takes up too much time. And then also, of course, I don't like to blow dry my hair all at once because that just makes it difficult to really get a thorough blow dry. Side note, I'm in love with that little bun on the other side of my head. I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. important tip when you're blow drying is to make sure you start at the ends don't go trying to start at the roots so halfway through your hair halfway through the part start at the bottom and then once the bottom is getting straight go ahead and work your way up it's kind of like when you come and brush your hair out i just cannot stand when the girlies be starting at the top starting at the roots start at the top of your hair that's not how you detangle or brush anything out the minute you start bringing the brush and the comb up to the, at the very top of my hair, I'm getting up from a chair. I'm not, I don't play them type of games. Mm-mm. Yes, blow dry. It's giving, period. Get into the lymph. This is the lymph check. My lymph check be when it blow dry. Cause yeah, get into it. My hair journey has really come a long way. And then you just wanna part your hair. I like to go all the way across in the back. And then once I'm getting up to the middle section in half. And then when I'm getting up to the very top, I like to split it down the middle and do each side. So, the way you, the proper way to flat iron is to, of course, detangle your part, the smaller part, and use a rat tail comb to comb it down midway, and then you take the flat iron and start from your root and bring it down, and you want to drag the rat tail comb all the way down along with the flat iron. We call this the catch and fall method, which is like literally the blueprint to a silk press. It really like takes it up a notch. Now you will see me do my own little thing in here because I'm different, I do my own thing. You know, do whatever works for you. Sometimes I get lazy, 
But the press is going to press at the end of the day. I promise you that. Here's an example of me being lazy. Another thing is, I'm still getting used to my hair being this length. So it really just be exhausting me a lot quicker than it typically would um, when flat ironing my hair and also like um, using the comb. Another important thing to do is to use heat protective spray on your hair before flat ironing your hair. Um, benefits you can get out of that is you get a better silk press. It really silks. That's for one. Um, another thing, you want to protect your hair from any heat damage. I don't tend to deal with heat damage. I would say I would say my hair is more trained to heat. But that's something that you should be aware of when you are using um, heat on your hair. And now I bump my flat iron up to 400 because I do stuff like that. And my hair is trained to take the heat as well. And on top of my hair being heat trained, I am using the proper protectant to keep my hair protected. So it don't matter how much heat I put on it because I'm going to be good regardless, period. So this is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant. This is my sister's actually, and I actually really like it. I'm surprised that she picked this product out and it's actually a really good product because she don't know nothing about hair, but she ate this. You just want to spritz it in your hair, not too much, um, and just like run your fingers throughout. to the top and this is what I meant when I said I section my hair off into two at the top because I know I want the middle part so I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on one side and then focus on the other and it's gonna eat 
And if you don't have any clips, any hair clips, I only have one, so I use ponytail holders. And you would think, you know, yeah, that's gonna make your hair bend, but of course you don't tie it on too tight. and fall method looking too good period And that's one side. Let's get into the other side. Again, this is me spraying that heat protectant and just running it through my thing, using my fingers to run it through my hair. But I use more than you typically would only because my hair eats product. Like my hair will eat some product up. Like I don't know what that's about, but your girl really just be having it up. This is my favorite part. when I just finish a section I put a little bit more heat on top of it just so it can really get flat flat and straight straight mm -hmm. and then this is a technique I use I burnt myself this is a technique I use to um, flat on my edges without burning myself Now we done, y'all. Please get into it. Ooh, shake it. Okay, and these are the final results. Period, period, period. Oh, man, that was the time. It took longer than it needed to be because I kept taking breaks to dance and sing. This is the final result. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I kill it every time. Yes, I'm giving myself my flowers because I just do that. Like, And then my hair is just giving long, like... It's so silky. Look at it. This given. Make sure you comment down below if you want to say what's up, got any suggestions. Like I said, this is my first hair video. So if y'all want more hair videos or y'all have some suggestions about what I could do, now's your time, baby. Now's your time. But yeah, make sure you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel because you know the vibes. You know the vibes. Now I'm not going to know how to act. But I will see y'all next time. Period. I'm gone.